one of the biggest names in Formula One isn't even famous for being behind the wheel. At this weekend's Adelaide Motorsport Festival, everyone wanted to be close to Gunter Steiner. How was that? Pretty cool. <laughs> Quick, 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 yeah. You don't say no to you, huh? No, no. Can I have a photo, please? Thank no you. problem. That's why you don't walk, eh, Gunter? You can't, you can't make your way through the crowds because you're so popular. Gunter Steiner doesn't pull punches on the hugely popular Drive to Survive series, a behind the scenes look at Formula One. Real left failure, real left broken. How do you sum up your season then this year? It's, it's one short world. Shit. <laughs> Since Drive to Survive started streaming, the popularity of Formula One has soared. And it's not just drivers who are stars. Gunter Steiner is a full-on celebrity. He made that show, so it was amazing to come meet him today and everything he's done for the sport. Not only the cars, but how everything works in the sport, or the social side of it, the media, everything like that. Like, it's, it's all about racing, but there's so much more behind it. Gunter Steiner was no longer the relatively unknown head of a bottom of the pack F1 team. In the beginning, it feels very strange because I'm not used to this and I never tried to be this, you know. What happens is like people say hello to you and you think, do I know this person or not, you know? So it's very strange that after a while you get used to it. This is f***ing madness. And now we are a bunch of wankers. Netflix doesn't beep Gunter Steiner when he swears. If it did, he might sound like a metal detector in a nail factory. I'm getting fucking sick of answering these fucking stupid questions on a race weekend. I mean, I've never seen any fucking thing like this, you know. It was not uh, not staged or it was not acting. It, it, it happens to me. When you, when you see me here, it doesn't seem like I'm that kind of guy. But when, when I go racing, that is what you put on. You, you know, you're in race mode, you know, you need to fight. Steiner left the Haas Formula One team this year and can now only watch from the outside as F1 deals with a scandal engulfing the defending champion Red Bull team. Its head, Christian Horner, was accused of sending inappropriate texts to a female team employee. He was cleared by lawyers hired by the team to investigate. He looked at everything, he had all of the facts and he came to a conclusion where he dismissed the grievance. But the scandal won't go away. Horner is married to former Spice Girl Jerry Halliwell, and the woman who complained now has been suspended by the team. In the higher ranks of the company, there will be some, you know, some people uh, rethinking what they want to do. I don't think it's as easy as, uh, as, as it looks like to say, oh, this guy was wrong or, or this woman was wrong. I don't know. I, I just don't know. The only thing, I, I hope that for the sake of Formula One, we get over it, they, we, uh, they, they, not we, because we cannot do anything. They put an end to it, you know, and make a decision, whatever it is, and we move on. I think it's better also for all the people involved. We're gonna go, guys. Sorry, we're gonna go. For Formula One, the Red Bull allegations are a rare diversion from the sport's dream run in recent years. Drivers such as Valtteri Bottas have lived through F1's recent boom. It's Valtteri Bottas who wins the Australian Grand Prix! The sports profile is a long way from where it was at his debut more than a decade ago. But when I used to go for, let's say, a holiday or, or to the Grand Prix in Austin, um, nobody would really recognize me. But nowadays, there's always somebody wherever I go in the US that recognizes me. So it's, uh, it, you've definitely seen, seen the change. There's a much younger, younger audience nowadays than it was like 10 years ago. So that should mean good things for the future. Bottas is Finnish. Like many F1 drivers, he lives in Monaco and enjoys a life most can only dream of. Finns are famous for being down to earth, regular people, but you're a superstar. How do you balance those two? For me, it's still uh, important to keep the feet on the ground. Uh, I try to go to Finland um, quite often, you know, to see the family and uh, visit my lake house. For me, simple things in life make, makes me happy and uh, I've got no issues in in terms of the balance. But balance is an issue for Formula One, 
The sport is dominated by a handful of teams at the top. Red Bull has won the last three drivers' titles and will be a favourite in Melbourne at the Australian Grand Prix. I honestly thought this year it will be closer together, but the opposite happened. You've got five teams and then five teams on the top and then five teams on the bottom. It's all, almost like two championships, you know. But I think Ferrari this year, if they have got good progress in, in uh, developments, they, they could challenge uh, Red Bull, hopefully, second half of the season. Steiner will be working in Melbourne as a commentator, but he won't rule out a return to the paddock. What would happen if you met a billionaire with money to spend who was an F1 fan? <laughs> Could you be back <laughs> as uh, a team I, principal again? I, I don't know if I want to be back as a team principal or just as a team principal. There is always things to do. I, I never say never to anything, you know, because you don't know the circumstances. Maybe, as you say, setting up a new team uh, 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 for the new era of Formula One, that could be an opportunity. You're really fast, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Very good.